there's need to give Philip and to give uh, uh, to energize what I would call liberal democracy um, and because liberal democracy is being whittled down uh, almost globally it has effect in Africa and uh, somebody put it uh, democracy fatigue uh, we haven't gone too far in Africa in democracy for us to get fatigued we shouldn't get fatigued which means that we need to energize our democracy the practice of our democracy and I, I will say the, uh, the good thing about democracy which is popular participation we should ensure that particularly the largest uh, uh, segment of our population the youth and the women are encouraged to participate in uh, democracy that is one of the challenges that we are facing another challenge we are facing is what I call monetarization of democracy. There's too much money being put in, in it so that those who haven't got money have been excluded. Now, in my lifetime, I found election cost going by a uh, factor of 10, 20, 30 in a short space of time. Um, and who has the money to be able to contest the election with that amount of, of uh, and we must find a way of bringing down the cost of demo, uh, of participation in democratic process. I think that's the way I put it. Participation in democratic process must not be made out of reach to ordinary people and cost-wise. Then we have what, what I mentioned earlier, that in these days when any election can be meddled with, that now becomes another uh, problem of election at, uh, as a means of uh, or as an, uh, an important ingredient of democracy uh, so that you can have free, fair, transparent and on uh, manipulated election. Um, then of course the issue of democracy popular participation between elections so that election uh, election is not seen as the only aspect of democracy that matters but the participation of the citizenry in election in uh, economy in the social life everything that enhances that enhances the living standard, the livelihood of the citizen. And some people don't pay in attention, enough attention to that. And yet, that is the core of democracy, making life uh, to be enriched in every sense of enrichment for the ordinary man. I think we just have to show them that uh, there's no better alternative to democracy. You see, the good thing about democracy is that it deals with diversity very well. And there's no African society, African country, where you do not have diversity. Diversity of religion, diversity of tribe, diversity of race, diversity of language, 
diversity of, uh, of culture. Now, the only form of government that can lend itself to dealing with this diversity in terms of debate, discourse, dialogue, is democracy. So that after you have discourse, you have tabled an issue, you have you reach a consensus. Even those who may not agree will, of course, understand. And that is important, that, look, everybody understand why this is being done. They may not agree with it, but it's not just that you bring it and you slap it on them or you uh, force it on them. They know why it is being done. They do not agree with it, but they know why it is being done. That is what democracy does. You talk about it, you debate it, you dialogue, and even when it is being uh, implemented, you know why it's been implemented. You may remain uh, on your disagreement throughout, but at least you understand.